Level design is one of the most underrated yet important aspects of a video game. A great level can draw a player in like nothing else, accentuating and amplifying the experience. What are some examples of excellent level design in video games though? Let's take a look at 15 here. Half-Life Surface Tension Surface tension is many things. It's perhaps the biggest level in Half-Life and a culmination of Gordon Freeman's escape from Black Mesa. But the brilliance of its design is perhaps underscored by how chaotically controlled everything is. Marines are fighting aliens as helicopters, tanks and turrets litter the area. Freeman must battle all of this, surviving ambushes, navigating across cliffs and much more. It's tense, exciting and highlights the stellar AI. Half-Life 2 Ravenhome if the first Half-Life was a masterpiece in level design, then the sequel takes it even further. There are tons of different examples to choose from, but we have a special place in our hearts for Ravenholm. This abandoned mining town is teeming with zombies, and you have to utilize the environment, a good old shotgun and the gravity gun to thin the herds. Excellently paced, fraught with danger and yet never completely out of control, Ravenholm is just the best. Bloodborne Central Yarnam You start Bloodborne in an abandoned ward before being whisked away to the Hunter's Dream. Your journey only truly begins in Central Yarnam, though. The expanse of the ruined city stretches out across the horizon. Each new section is filled with horrors, from mobs of crazed villagers to giants and killer crows. There's so much attention to detail and methods of teaching the game. From dodging and baiting enemies to stunning and visceral attacking for massive damage. That's not even including the side characters like Father Gascoigne's ill-fated family. Divinity Original Sin 2 Reaper's Coast Fort's joy is where you get your bearings and ultimately learn the ins and outs of the game. However, Reaper's Coast is where you truly dive into Original Sin 2 with its memorable side quests, characters, side activities and enemies. You'll discover a ship full of death fog en route to Arx, a roaming witch with overwhelming powers, and perhaps halt an execution among dozens of other things. In terms of second acts in RPGs, Reaper's Coast is superb. Titanfall 2 – Effects and Cause Titanfall 2 had already established itself as a wicked first-person shooter platformer by the time you reach Effects and Cause, and yet the mission pushes the limits even further. Starting as a traipse into the past before seeing Jack Cooper seamlessly shifting between the past and present. Certain enemies like IMC guards and robots can only be fought in the past, and this can be used to your advantage to effectively flank. From a story and puzzle design standpoint, effects and cause prove that the campaign in Sidenfall 2 could indeed get better. Hollow Knight – City of Tears much of your initial time in Hollow Knight is spent traversing caverns, killer forests, and other rustic areas. However, upon reaching the capital of Hollow Nest, the City of Tears, you're granted to a magnificent city drowning in rain. Sitting at the bench and admiring the weather is one noble pastime, but the city is filled with secrets, from the Watcher Knight to Lurian, one of the Dreamers, and the Soul Sanctum with its myriad of bosses. Super Mario Odyssey Metro Kingdom Yes, the darker side kingdom may have been the ultimate platforming challenge, but the Metro Kingdom stands out far better. You're ascending a skyscraper to take out the level's boss, which involves capturing some tanks for firepower. From there, you explore the city's various nooks and crannies for tougher platforming sections, scooter racing segments, with the Tyrannosaurus Rex from earlier making an appearance, and even racing RC cars. It all culminates in one big classic tribute to Mario and Donkey Kong, which has to be played to fully appreciate. Batman Arkham Asylum – Arkham Asylum While it might be hyperbole to insist that everything about Batman Arkham Asylum is perfect, the sheer design of the entire island is incredible. You're looping through cell blocks and research areas, navigating courtyards with snipers, clearing plants to progress, and subsequently traveling the sewers while avoiding Killer Croc. It's an incredibly varied journey that offers stealth, combat, puzzle solving, and yes, Metroidvania-style backtracking to amazing effect. Dark Souls – Painted World of Ariamis 
The painted world of Ariamis stands out among the decay and destruction of Lordran. It's covered in snow, presenting a different kind of desolate beauty, and its main boss, crossbreed Priscilla, is incredibly intriguing from a lore standpoint. Though not strictly connected to the main world, the painted world of Ariamis showcased the potential of these self-contained areas in Dark Souls. Metroid Prime Talon 4 The Chozo Ruins, Phazon Mines, Impact Crater, pretty much every area on Talon 4, the setting for Metroid Prime is nuanced and brimming with secrets. Keep in mind that this is the first Metroid title to utilize the first-person perspective. To properly design such an incredible range of environments, each with their own unique hooks and bosses, while exploiting that new perspective is no small feat. Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain Hellbound Your main objective is to extract Dr. Emmerich, and while it seems like a routine mission, there's an abject greatness to the pacing of Hellbound. You start by infiltrating the Afghanistan Central Base Camp, sneaking past tons of soldiers, and ultimately using a walker to get Emmerich out. However, before you can leave, Sahelanthropus appears to stop you. From there, it becomes a tense journey to hide while heading to the landing zone, which provides some genuine tension. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild – Eventide Island The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is a game where you start with nothing and slowly build your way up, acquiring weapons, armor, and whatnot. However, Eventide Island, which requires you to find three spheres, removes all of your items. It's down to your wits, clever use of abilities, and scavenging to survive. As a clever inversion on the power fantasy, Eventide Island truly stands out. Dishonored Death of the Outsider The Bank Job Of the many excellent levels that players have seen in the Dishonored series, the bank job from Death of the Outsider is one of the best. Your objective is to head to the Dolores Michaels Bank and acquire the twin-bladed knife. However, you're given a number of ways to infiltrate it, from the sewers to the roof, and there are multiple ways to open the vaults as well. This blend of immersive sim elements, platforming, sneaking, and escaping is masterfully handled, delivering a compelling experience with each different approach. Prey 2017 Talos 1 Arcane Studios does it again with Prey 2017. Talos 1 isn't your typical wonderland of varied sights and sounds, maintaining a unique, clean aesthetic throughout. There are additional stories and secrets tucked away, not to mention mimics blending into the environment. Though it can be grueling initially with limited supplies, Talos 1 presents a smorgasbord of different opportunities depending on your abilities, and that's even before you venture out into outer space. Uncharted 2 Among Thieves – Locomotion Otherwise known better as the train level, locomotion stands out in the abject perfection that is Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. The basic gist is that you're at the tail end of the train and must slowly advance forward. There's a fair bit of platforming before you eventually acquire some weapons and battle against hordes of foes, but even then, the level serves up some surprises, like a machine gun nest, running across multiple train cars quickly, and battling a helicopter. And that wraps it up. If you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing to our channel. We upload new videos daily, so make sure you don't miss them by subscribing. We appreciate your support, and we thank you for checking us out.